My friends, you're about to hear what makes Internet Computer Protocol different from every other cryptocurrency that I've found on the market. We're going to go over a presentation that Dominic Williams, the founder and chief scientist of Definity Foundation, which is one of the main contributors to Internet Computer Protocol, created and made a pitch deck for. And we'll look at the internetcomputer.org website as well, because... Once you understand what's really different about Internet Computer Protocol, once it's really hit me, I can't stand to even pay attention to anything else going on in crypto because to me, this is where things are going. And a lot of crypto talk is just about where we've been and what might happen again based on what's happened before. I want to know where are we headed. And this Internet Computer to me is the future. So what is Internet Computer? It is a cl complete cloud network based on cryptography and cryptocurrencies. So you could think of it as Bitcoin was the first iteration of crypto. It's simply a payments platform. Ethereum, next iteration of crypto where now you have smart contracts and a payments platform. And Ethereum's original vision was to be a world computer, but... It's a really basic world computer that can't do much and needs the rest of the regular inf internet infrastructure to support it and allow it to do anything. Then you have the third iteration, the third major breakthrough in crypto is internet computer, where you can do everything on chain, where it's doing uh, the equivalent of hundreds of thousands of Ethereum transactions per second, or, and you can put five gigabytes of memory on internet computer for just a few dollars a year or a gigabyte for five dollars a year and this is a big breakthrough and this presentation will explain a lot why this matters because the blockchains of today only actually host little bits of data and then everything else is done off chain which means other cryptos are not really decentralized at all and uh, they're basically the same internet we already have and they have all the same problems we already have but they're in many cases like a web3 game they're more complicated to develop than just a regular game and uh, I, the direction i see everything going is internet computer so let's look at this presentation from that was made within the last month so we need to first to really understand how big of a deal internet computer is we need to get into the big picture of how things work and this is why we need to deep dive to really see how much this matters our modern societies are based on these digital frameworks things like social media communications platforms like discord file storage like things like dropbox google drive and the entire sharing economy messaging apps financial systems, supply chains, medical records. These things are delivered by online systems and services, and those are created by software and logic and data. And this is how the existing internet is built. What we have right now is the opportunity with internet computer to make a better framework society. Because right now, the systems and services we have run on a few centralized providers they're easily hacked and they're easily controlled by just a few different people who make the decisions. And often they make decisions in a way that are monopolizing, that exclude innovation. And these services cost too much as well. There's trillions of dollars spent every year on maintaining and developing the existing internet. And you have things like social media, where the company owns your content. I mean, they don't own copyright to it, but you upload and put all this time into uploading all this content and they make almost all of the money off of it, except on YouTube, but YouTube has one of the fairest monetization models across all the other different forms of media, which is why it's one of the places where people spend the most of their time. Right now, users give all the value and have no ownership over the platforms they put their time and energy into. And this is what Internet Computer is addressing. If you've heard the term Web3, real Web3 is not 
a reality anywhere outside of internet computer because all the rest of crypto from what i've seen since 2014 researching hundreds and hundreds of different altcoins in just the last year alone all the rest of crypto is built on this existing infrastructure except for a tiny bit of data that's on the blockchain for example if you buy an ethereum nft on a platform like OpenSea, all you're really buying is a link on the ethereum blockchain to an image that's stored on uh, another often centralized file storage service even if it is on something like interplanetary file system that often will have a single point of failure for example the open sea the marketplace itself or the link that's pointing to that it's not decentralized in most cases at all and it's not transparent or easily able to be replicated in most cases either so what internet computer is aiming to do is build and uh, more advanced alternative to the existing internet infrastructure where users have real ownership that's why this is so big and why i've put everything in crypto now into internet computer this what internet computer does it, it extends the public internet with service serverless cloud functionality using cryptography and uh, then allow for these different properties the internet computer becomes unstoppable because once you put it on there it then it cannot be just taken down if somebody doesn't like it and that is as i've been in social media since i created a facebook account in 2005 that is a huge deal to not have a kill switch where one nation or one powerful person can just annihilate you because they don't like what you said. Doesn't matter what the terms and conditions are. So internet computers building an infrastructure that's unstoppable, where if I don't like it, it's too bad, it's still up there. And where this is more important for many countries around the world where the infrastructure is sovereign. Because right now, when you have many of these platforms based in the US, well, if you piss off somebody powerful in the USA, your entire country could have consequences applied on that specific platform. And uh, the you all the users could suffer the consequences of that. Right now, the world largely is beholden to US-based companies for all these digital services. An internet computer is one of, if not the only alternative, where if you're tired of being dependent on these and beholden to these US companies that control huge amounts of the internet, internet computer is a place where you could build where you would have freedom from being shut down or messed with by those companies. And uh, for er regular enterprises and developers, these contracts on the internet computer, the canisters that you build, the smart contracts and deploy your software and host your data and do the computing, these are tamper-proof because they're secured by cryptography. And this means hackers and ransomware can't mess with these either. And no matter who you are, hackers and ransomware are a big problem. There's billions of dollars every year that's lost and damaged and that's paid to uh, hackers and uh, IT ethical hackers to try and figure out things before the hackers do and ransomware. There's a huge amount of energy that's expended and wasted trying to deal with all these platforms getting hacked and uh, getting attacked by ransomware, viruses, etc. When you're building on internet computer, you can build it because it's secured with cryptography. You don't have to have firewalls. You don't have to pay all these IT teams to try and stop hackers or deal with ransomware. It's tamper proof. And this is another huge breakthrough. Are you seeing how internet computer is another level of technology? This, this just blows my mind, like how good this is. It's also DAO powered. It can be exclusively controlled by the community or enterprise DAOs. This means that, for example, if an enterprise wants to move off or a country or a state wants to move off the existing internet infrastructure, build in a simpler way that's unstoppable, that's sovereign, that's tamper-proof, they can set up a token to control their entire ecosystem as a 
decentralized autonomous organization where people have real voting power to make changes to the actual assets. Right now, most of the DAOs I see in crypto that are not on internet computer protocol or are a DAO in name only because when you're interacting with that DAO, the DAO does not, in almost every case, control the real assets. For example, I'm not going to name any one crypto in particular, but many of these DAO tokens, when you vote, you're basically telling the person who controls the regular IT infrastructure, the Amazon Web Services account, the DAO is telling the person with real power what they'd like to do. And we've seen in some cases, again, not to mention any particular coins because I don't want to promote them or have any facts off, that in some cases, DAOs and the voters have expressed and made it clear they voted one way and the real controller, the developing team, has literally done the opposite and then told the community that, oh, well, we were just asking for your opinion. And it, that's where the truth is. If you don't vote how the people who have real power in the existing infrastructure want you to vote, your vote doesn't matter because the voters of the DAO cannot control the existing IT infrastructure that the platform is hosted on. Yes, they can sell their tokens out of aggravation. That has definitely happened, but the tokens themselves don't control the real resources. On internet computer, the tokens themselves do control the real resources because it's built on chain. Websites are hosted on chain and uh, the canisters supplying the computations and the storage these can all be hosted directly on internet computer which means the DAOs can have real control over the resources that actually generate the value and this has been my consistent criticism in reviewing a bunch of other DAO based altcoins that you don't have real power on internet computer when you set up a token and allow people to vote the people voting do have real power and the difference in that to me is everything in the world when it comes to a DAO. I have no interest in holding a DAO token if I don't have real power with it. And the beauty of this entire system is that it's lower cost, way lower cost in some cases than developing on the existing infrastructure. And it's autonomous. And this means, especially for things like gaming, you can build games that run directly on chain where you're not beholden to a developer. Right now, the Web3 games are more expensive than Web2 games, and many companies are not even interested in building Web3 games again until they find out about Internet Computer because the existing Web3 games, you have to build a Web2 game, basically, and then do the extra expense and complexity of trying to make it into something that integrates with crypto, which generally is much more expensive, and if the business model is not sustainable, guess what happens? The game disappears. I've seen that happen where games launch and the game is so expensive and the initial response is so low that they literally take the game down. You can't play it anymore, sometimes within a month or two. On internet computer, the users in this case could directly fund the canisters. Even if the developers took the game off, users could pay the cost of hosting the game and keep it online and modify the game and make their own games based on it. And that is an absolute game changer. For example, I loved playing Call of Duty Warzone and the developer took the Verdansk map down. On something like Internet Computer, users would be able to continue running the Verdansk map if, depending on if it was all really hosted on chain and if there was a DAO, you have the ability to decide what keeps running and what doesn't. And this is why internet computer is so exciting to me. It's power to the people. Right now our existing infrastructure does not give you power. Our existing infrastructure it puts you in a state of servitude to the masters. And this is the only way I see currently that we could have out of that to get real power and with power comes value and ownership and wealth that is currently being given to a very small few, Internet Computer gives us a chance to decentralize and distribute this wealth. Where we're seeing in the past that things have consistently went from private infrastructure to public networks, 
information superhighway to the internet legacy IT stack. To me, everything is going towards internet computer, where individual node machines connect to form an open public internet. And that's really exciting. This, the network, internet computer is created by ICP, the internet computer protocol. This is the most advanced network protocol ever devised. And we need this level of advancement in order to be able to have true ownership over what we're doing. The way it works is that you have these independent node providers operate node machines and data centers worldwide. And this is fairly similar to how existing internet infrastructure, you put servers up and run them with the difference is the, the way that these are running internet computer and they're running the protocol and they're working together and therefore it runs on a sovereign network and not a cloud that's all under one person's control. And then when you put these nodes together, the nodes form subnet blockchains. And these can be divided up by geography. For example, you could have a subnet for a specific country. For example, some things you might run, like medical, would require you keep the data in country. So there's Internet Computer Protocol puts nodes together to form subnets that generate all the processing power and data storage you need to run everything within that subnet where you don't even have to, depending on how you set it up, go outside that subnet. Then the subnet blockchains add capacity for hosting canister smart contracts. And this is the real breakthrough internet computer has had is canister smart contracts. This allows you to put everything you need directly in a canister, including storing the data, including running the computational power and all the code and logic that makes this happen and to call out to things outside of the smart contract for the thing you need. Internet computer eliminates the need for centralized oracles, which is why I have no interest in investing in any other centralized oracles because the internet computer, it can pull the data directly using these canister smart contracts, you don't need some third-party oracle to do it for you. I, you. When you put all this together, it's like, it, it almost seems too good to be true. Like, why is everything else like so bad and this just does everything? The subnets combine to produce one stateful serverless autonomous cloud that then uh, anyone can get into and access that you can expand it infinitely. We've seen the problems in scaling with Ethereum, and these layer two solutions are clearly not a sustainable solution because just try using one layer two and then try using the other layer two, and they're not compatible, they work differently, and for example, if you use something on base and then try and use it on Arbitrum, it's obnoxious, It they work differently, and it's a bad user experience. And you got these apps launching on Ethereum Layer 2s where you have to put money, Ethereum, into it just to use the app. ICP is like the opposite of that. And it has unbounded capacity. I mean, all you need to do is keep adding more nodes and expanding more subnets, and this thing could run the entire internet. That's where I want to have my money, is in something that could go to a trillion-plus dollar market cap from where it's at today at a, uh, less than $2 billion. This is how it works then, where you have a tamper-proof code units without servers or instances that simply interact through the smart contracts. They call functions, they contact other canisters, and uh, even call out, as we'll see in a minute, to Web2 nodes. This structure allows you to build almost anything, and that's why internet computer is so exciting. So many of the cryptos I see you all investing in and that you tell me in the one-on-one -on -one calls on jerrybanfield.com that you schedule that, well, this crypto is great for gaming. Well, this one is cool for DeFi. And this one is a layer two. I am all in on internet computer because you can build anything on it. And uh, what I'm looking for in crypto is a black hole. The one crypto to rule them all where everyone will want to come to and build. Internet computer, you can build games. There already are games. There's already DeFi. There's decentralized social media networks. There's, 
data storage like Dropbox. And what I'm seeing on internet computers that almost all the things that you're that are not on internet computer that are on, you can have on regular computer, regular internet or the existing internet infrastructure, things like apps like Uber, you can build these on internet computer and actually give the users and the drivers a stake and a vote. It looks like to me the entire internet is in the process of being rebuilt on internet computer and all of the successful apps out there looks like we're on the way to having versions of them on internet computer. And the trick is once people start using internet computer through something like a game or DeFi or for crypto or for decentralized social media network, once you get people on internet computer and you can build almost anything on it, it's very easy to get people to jump over and use other things on internet computer, NFT marketplaces, different apps. And this is why I see that internet computer has so much potential because you can build almost anything. If you're wondering, well, what is canister code? Canister software is a new form of smart contract technology with more general application. And uh, this is where the big innovation in internet computer is. So smart contracts, if you need to back up to smart contracts, Ethereum smart contracts are a big innovation over existing software. Tamper proof, unstoppable, autonomous. They have data, tokenization, composable and borderless so these ethereum smart contracts are a big deal they're a big form of innovation and canisters are a massive upgrade on what the ethereum smart contracts can do they're fast web speed canister software means the internet computer website and uh, lots of others are now hosted directly on internet computer they're not hosted on Amazon Web Services and then trying to connect a wallet to it and make it look like it's crypto. They're actually in their entirety on internet computer. And unlike Ethereum, these canister smart contracts on internet computer are infinitely scalable. You just keep putting out more nodes and you can just keep running everything. And what's amazing is these canister smart contracts can interact with external blockchains. They've already set it up, the Definity team and developers working on CKBTC have already set it up. So you can use Bitcoin, you can interact with a Bitcoin blockchain directly on the internet computer. They have their own node running for Bitcoin. And uh, I took all my Bitcoin, deposited it on the internet computer and got chain key Bitcoin in exchange, which is a twin. And the internet computer protocol did all of that. It generated an address for me to send my Bitcoin to it then gave me CKBTC automatically in exchange for my Bitcoin. And then any time if I wanted to take that Bitcoin and pull it off internet computer into another wallet, I could do that. And it signed all the transactions. I don't have to hold any of the Bitcoin private keys or seed phrases to do that. It does all that. And th this is another level. Canisters keep things private and run data in parallel, which is where that scalability comes in. It's incredibly efficient. I've finally, I've put down the energy debate with Bitcoin, but when you look at internet computer, I don't see why we would use Bitcoin or even Ethereum compared to internet computer. Internet computer is just more efficient and it's more efficient than regular IT infrastructure in many cases. It's so low cost that to me, we tend to gravitate towards to the lowest cost best solution for technology and each can on internet computer we'll dive into more how the canisters work so on each canister has logic and data so logic you've got these different coding languages it can be written in and then you have data where it has it stores the data needed to operate the logic and it, it looks to me like these smart contracts on internet computer are going to just consume everything else. I was watching Invest Answers video and he, he was talking about how Solana could be a black hole in crypto that consumes everything else. And the more I researched, I realized internet computer is the black hole. Internet computer is the one that can take bring every other thing you could possibly imagine into it. And that is what I'm looking for when I'm holding on to crypto is 
this is where I want to invest and where I am investing. Like the fastest, fast scalable smart contracts that can replace the entire legacy IT stack. Like that's huge. The internet computer is so uh, much better for developing Web3 games. And then what is happening? And I would argue there are no Web3 games right now outside of internet computer, except perhaps in limited cases where you've got these really simple games that are completely on chain, but that are basically text-based. So in the way you'd think of games, internet computer is the only place where you've got that full stack decentralization to move us into true Web3. And this is how it works in practical experience. So on a real Web3 experience, you've got, for example, with OpenChat. OpenChat is a Web3 telegram. So existing telegram has, it's hosted on the pre legacy IT stack. And then when you're trying to use tokens with it, that's pulling from another blockchain and it has several centralized points of failure. On internet computer, when you've got open chat, when you go to the website or when you go on the mobile app, you're pulling data directly from internet computer protocol and the web browsers are interacting with the canisters via HTTP over on internet computer and directly serving the user experience. And uh, what really to me screams mass adoption here that doesn't go on on other chains is that this is a reverse gas fee model. So if you use open chat, you don't have to get some ICP to pay for your transactions unless you're actually sending something like ICP from one wallet to another. You uh, can simply interact and use the app and you don't even need to know that it's hosted on internet computer protocol. That to me is the absolute essential ingredient for mass adoption. And the big weakness I've seen in every other application that says it's decentralized is the gas fee model. It's ridiculous to think that people are going to, the masses will be willing to pay things like Ethereum gas fees or to put $20 worth of crypto on an application just to start using it. People only in mass are going to interact with things where they don't have to pay any gas fees at all the vast majority of the time. And uh, then when they do, they're making some kind of meaningful transaction. And the, the gas is so cheap on internet computer, you can execute huge amounts of transactions. Developers can build on this cheaply and it's all in one place. You don't have to pay your Amazon Web Services account and pay your APIs or your other accounts. For example, for a game, building directly on internet computer would be way more cost efficient in many cases than trying to do all these other things you need to do to run a game. And especially if you want to get out something like NFTs or integrate tokens. What's amazing on internet computer is they've also got a decentralized identity solution that you can interact with your existing devices to sign in and use cryptography in a way that's secure that's already built into your computer. This allows you to use something like open chat and sign in directly with if you're on something like an iPhone with your fingerprint are, are you you're like wait you're still using the fingerprint yeah baby I'm rocking the 2017 iPhone right here still I like to keep them as long as possible before they fall apart because well that's economical or if you're on an iPhone or iPad with face recognition you can use your face recognition once you set up your internet identity you add individual devices and signing on is super easy. No really long passwords like MetaMask and it's all directly on chain. So you can just sign in with your face or your pin code or your password if you're on a computer using the same password you already use to keep things secure. It's super easy and mass adoption friendly. And this allows you to create a lot of transactions per second. I've used DeFi and things like decentralized decentralized exchanges on Ethereum and it's a nightmare compared to using internet computer. I've moved thousands and thousands of dollars around and swapped tokens and sent from one wallet to another for almost nothing in transaction fees, almost instantaneous. Think the speed of Solana, but 
it actually all is directly on chain and infinitely scalable. And everything can be verified using ICP's master public chain key, which is cool. The way they set this up, I can barely even understand this. There, it says there's a corresponding private key that doesn't even exist, and only the nodes working together can even create transaction signatures. I'm not even sure how that works from a technical point of view. I was able to learn about things like Bitcoin keys and asymmetric cryptography, but this is like, I don't even get how that works, but it sounds great and I'm glad it does work. And what I understand that works about it is when you have internet computers master chain key, any software system with this number can verify that the transactions are working correctly, that it hasn't been tampered with. And that's really important for letting everybody collaborate and work together more efficiently. And what's this is what's so big on internet computer is the way this is set up allows for autonomy, where you can create something and work on your own and have each service can be controlled independently and you don't have these massive kill switches built in right now where if somebody doesn't like me on their regular IT stack, I mean, they can just kill switch me. They can kill switch whole states, whole countries, entire companies. The autonomy is really important. And the internet computer is the only place I see where you can really have this autonomy. So you've got the network nerve. I'll explain to you how this works in terms of the governments and the DAOs right now. So the entire internet computer protocol is governed by the network nervous system. Now, I did a deep tutorial on this on the Jerry Banfield Crypto Reviews channel. So if you search Jerry Banfield Network Nervous System Internet Computer, you'll find a massive tutorial on this that I put on YouTube and I put on X on my Jerry Banfield formerly Twitter account. The network nervous system is like the brain for all of Internet Computer when you're holding internet computer and you put your internet computer into a neuron, which you could think of as staking it, then you get voting power depending on how long you lock it up, which I explain all this in the network nervous system tutorial. Then based on that voting power, the changes that come across the network are decided based on those votes. And this allows the network to constantly upgrade, to constantly make modifications, all fully automatically based on voting. And that system is so efficient and transparent that there's nothing else like it out there. That's how the entire internet computer works on the network nervous system. And if you lock up for eight years, the voting rewards are currently 16%. Picture that in a bull market when the price might potentially 10 plus X from where it's at today. And wow, that's why I locked up thousands of internet computer protocol for eight years. So that's how the entire big system works. And these SNS or service nervous systems, these service nervous systems are then created by the network nervous system proposals. People who want to create their own small kind of community or you know smaller little brain on internet computer can make their own version of a network nervous system that just governs what they've created. And to do that, they submit a proposal to make a service nervous system, which comes with a token name and a token launch on the launch pad. And these service nervous systems then govern their parts of internet computer the same way the network nervous system governs the whole. And these can be customized as well. For example, Boom DAO set up their service nervous system. So the maximum period you can lock your tokens is two years, whereas the network nervous system is eight years. So you, these, the way this works allows anyone now to create a fully automated token community DAO and application all in one place. Are you understanding how exponentially more efficient this is than the existing solutions? I played a game called Gods Unchained that was developed on Immutable X, which is a layer two for Ethereum. That was so complex to inter and expensive to interact with. And they were, last I checked on it, they were struggling to even get set up the ability to vote on changes 
all of us that were in the community had no real say in how they develop the game, how they control the cards. No, no that and that meant there was no real value or reason to hold the token. And for that reason, the token absolutely is plummeted in price. Last I checked, if they had built Gods Unchained on internet computer instead, or if they moved it over there, they could set it up so that the Gods token became an SNS. The entire game could be hosted directly on chain. And then users holding the Gods token and locking it up will be able to vote on changes to the game. And that means there would be a very clear reason to hold the token and your vote would actually matter. For example, if they wanted to change any of the cards or add new cards in the game, the development team themselves would have to put a proposal forward that people would vote on. And this is all the difference in the world. And for this reason, I think many of these new service nervous system tokens are going to do really well in the future. And most of them are already in profits now from where they launched because this is giving true value to holding a token. And this is the main reason almost all other tokens I'm aware of don't have real value because they don't have real power and real ownership behind them because they're built on the legacy IT stack which means you cannot get out of having a centralized controller that has access to all the real assets. So the service nervous system to me is one of the massive value propositions on internet computer. And when you picture things like enterprises, companies, games, tokens, DeFi apps, all launching decentralized exchanges, all launching their own service nervous systems, this, the more people launch, the more these launches go, the more other developers are paying attention, the more communities will migrate over to internet computer, bring their existing community. For example, if a game like Gods Unchained moved its entire infrastructure over to internet computer protocol, that could be a massive boost for the game, a massive boost for the token, and a fresh infusion of new players. For this reason, this to me is where internet computer really blows up and starts consuming everything is off of the service nervous system because this is where you get your real ownership and where tokens have real value. So this is so exciting to me. And uh, we'll go into this a bit in more detail. So as I described, when you're in the community for something, and uh, you uh, have the software source code over to the GitHub, then that's open sourced. Then when you're in the service nervous system, you, uh, you, the community then can, anyone in the community can propose updates, fixes, payments, motions, etc. Anyone in the community can develop and add to the code and anyone in the community can uh, propose these updates and fixes, which is amazing. Because in the past, you would everything is so closed source, the community is pretty helpless except to complain, which promotes often a lot of whining and attention seeking. Whereas here, this to me promotes real work. For example, a game like Gods Unchained, a member of the community, not even a member of the team, could theoretically develop their own add-on or addition to the game, and then that's open source. They put that on internet computer, and then they could propose to add that to the game. And uh, let's say the community actually owned a majority of the token and voting power. The community could vote that through even if the rest of the development team didn't like it. Now, yes, this theoretically could result in problems if poorly considered pieces of code and updates are just added without ta people really taking a look at how it works. And that, to me, makes this interesting. Like, some communities are going to thrive and be diligent about the upgrades, and others may kind of carelessly push things through that could, you know, bring the whole thing down like a house of cards. So that'll be very interesting to me, and that, that means that what you do in the community really has value. And this is what fixes Web3. Internet computer can solve for the pervasive centralization within our existing blockchain system. You can't imagine how much of a problem this is because deep down on some level when you're looking at these tokens, you know they have no value 
and therefore you're constantly scared of them going at their prices going to no value and uh, therefore the majority of crypto has been just way down in a total rug pull because we don't have any web 3 yet that's real outside of internet computer where there's that true value proposition and this is what this is what the current experience looks like right now you've got smart contracts on say ethereum but almost everything else works the same way solana cardano etc this is how the whole system works besides internet computer you have the tokens and nfts are on the blockchain but often the nft itself isn't even on the blockchain especially if it's ethereum it's just a link you don't even have the picture on the blockchain lots of times it's just a link then what you've got in the middle of it is legacy it you have all this other stuff that's often controlled by a very small group of people often the development team and these are all vulnerable to hackers censorship gatekeepers vested interests ransomware or developers that you have to trust that if their trust is breached in any way you are screwed and then the users get this kind of a web 3 experience now on internet computer it's an entirely new game and this even can be done to interact with ethereum smart contracts the ethereum integration or chain key ethereum is coming soon and uh, i'm glad i've loaded up on my internet computer before that because once this ethereum integration comes I think a lot more people are going to start understanding what a big deal internet computer is. Because right now, with internet computer, especially once integration is done, but even as it is, you can host your application on internet computer, have it interacting with smart contracts on Ethereum. You can have the actual resources managed by autonomous governments, governance through SNS tokens, and then serve those Web3 experiences to people who now actually matter in the equation and that's a game changer and that's why internet computer is so amazing to me it's a web 3 platform that gives you that full stack decentralization not just one tiny part of decentralization and everything else is centralized with and the what makes this so much easier is internet identity and there's a variety of internet identity solutions on internet computer. Different developers have made their own identity applications where you can use one single account and log into a ton of different internet computer apps. The main internet identity is the one that you use for the network nervous system and holding your tokens. And here's how it works. You can use your device to sign in or a, and your web at web OS and then that gets you over to internet computer logged in in a way that's so much easier than having to set up all these different wallets with all these different passphrases and all these different passwords as the more things move to internet computer the more exciting this is because i love using my internet identity to sign into a bunch of different applications instead of being stuck using uh, all these different wallets and passwords and they now they just launched a team of developers made an oasis wallet or something oic oic uh, i'll do a video on it but there's a, an ethereum wallet that's like metamask but it's hosted completely on internet computer new wallet where you don't have to you can use your internet identity to hold your ethereum assets which is awesome and here's an example of how it works for you've got an app like open chat where you launch the app and you can log in directly you choose your internet identity and it pops up using your face id to sign in or thumbnail if you're old school like me and you're logged in and what's amazing is you can then have that same login ease of experience on your desktop for example if you use a security key or something to secure your desktop you can log in with that directly on your desktop into the same application with the same id there's millions of identities that have already been created on internet computer and i only have one like once you create one you don't need any more and there's hundreds of dApps already using internet identity for authentication and here's an example of more detail of how this works in a particular web3 app so if we look at the open chat app this is the fir world's first web3 open internet service 
It runs 100% on the network. The chat accounts are also crypto wallets. So every when you ha use your internet identity to make an account, you can also send tokens back and forth. You can even send Satoshis with chain key Bitcoin. Then users hold governance tokens called chat, where you are now getting ownership over this app and ownership means you get to get rewarded when you vote on proposals you can make proposals yourself and when those proposals pass your changes get change the entire network there's bounties for bringing new people in so you can earn by referring and there's rewards for creating viral content and the updates all go through governance seamlessly and it runs with the sns full in control and the community's feature is an alternative to slack this is all on chain and this is just one single application that's on the internet computer that has tens of thousands of users. Then here's another one. It's called hotornot.wtf. I post a video on here most days now. It's a tokenized TikTok built on the network. Now, this technically does not run fully on chain at this point as the videos that are uploaded are still hosted off chain. However, they're working to get a solution where they can put the videos are big and they're working on getting all the videos hosted on chain, but everything else besides the videos and I believe like the pictures or images are all, everything else is hosted on chain. And you get to use your hot tokens to decide whether a video will go viral or not. And then when you make a video that does well, you get hot tokens instead of on TikTok. When you make a video that does well, I've got $50 off of, millions and millions of views on TikTok. I've got thousands of tokens on Hot or Not on like 400 views uploading three videos. I mean, this is so much better. And then in the future, advertisers will be able to pay with their Hot tokens and you can use this directly without having to download an App Store app on iOS. You can just do this right in the browser which is so amazing. When this app first went up, the content moderation was not there that much. And it was funny to see kind of like these real raw unmoderated videos on there. And that's what's fun about this. It's a different feeling and a different experience than being on the internet you're used to. Do you see that I'm barely halfway through this presentation? I don't even know if we're gonna make it through the whole pitch deck here. If this video gets over an hour, I think we're gonna need to wrap it up so I can go to yoga. There, here's a, a DEX that's fully on chain, and this is where you can really take crypto to the next level. All you need to do is get a hold of any kind of token, and then you can start swapping it with everything else on ICP. That means anywhere you can buy ICP on a centralized exchange, you can put it on here and then interact with the entire ecosystem. And this is great for people around the world who can't even buy on centralized exchanges, but they could do things that are valuable and earn tokens and then trade those tokens on chain on a truly decentralized exchange and uh, all the changes can be made transparent and autonomously by holders of the token and then uh, for example let's say somebody in a country where they can't even buy crypto who has no money to buy crypto but they do a great job uploading and moderating videos on something like hot or not then they earn hot tokens then they take some of their hot tokens and change them into icp and stake those on icp and then they can start participating and voting on governance for icp and for hot this the way internet computer is set up is really allowing for people globally to get fully involved in crypto even if they cannot buy any crypto that they, they can start earning crypto and doing valuable actions for apps like this and then trading it directly on chain this is so good if you want a list of the apps that are already building you can have web 2 equivalents and web 3 for example tiktok on web 2 is like how to not web 3 dmail is like gmail discover is like reddit and i'm getting great engagement on some of these platforms i'm getting as much engagement if not more i'm getting as many or more views on hot or not as I am on TikTok, even though I have 29,000 followers on TikTok, I'm getting a comparable number of views because there's not that many people uploading to Hot or Not, and uh, there's a ton uploading to TikTok. So this is the time to get in on stuff. You've got IC, Dex, the whole, almost everything bad we've seen in crypto is because of this Web2 centralized setup. 
When you build something like IC Dex instead of FTX, then user funds, you don't have to worry about them all getting compromised. Open Chat is like Telegram, District is like X, Canistor is an upcoming app that'll be like Spotify, Funded is a version of Kickstarter that is currently putting out a lot of funding. I'm gonna do individual videos on all these apps as soon as I can get to them. But what you can see is the internet is literally being rebuilt on the internet computer. A giant leap forward for crypto and tech. No cloud, no databases, no servers, built entirely from canister code, all on ICP. No firewalls or SIEM logging. And uh, this is so much better. And this allows small teams to build Web3 services that can scale to large amounts of users. And I'm going to put forward in my internet computer videos more consistently that one of the main value propositions is that this is cheaper and easier compared in some cases definitely to building on the existing infrastructure. And we haven't even hardly talked about enterprise. Internet computer can deliver massive advantages to enterprises. And uh, there's potentially trillions of dollars in savings for enterprises because the legacy IT stack requires a lot of time and energy from developers, admin, security, and maintenance. Internet computer makes it much easier to build the same things. And that's why, to me, we're heading towards an internet computer future. The canister address, the way these canisters are built allows you to uh, drastically reduce huge costs that are being spent in other areas and put your apps on internet computer. Billions of dollars lost in cybersecurity incidents. Billions of dollars spent on cybersecurity every year. These could be eliminated or drastically reduced on internet computer protocol. And uh, the more enterprises that start building on internet computer, the more will continue to come to internet computer as they see it's better, it's faster, it's cheaper. And uh, one year enterprise builds on the same infrastructure as another enterprise, it'll make it way easier for users from one to go to the other. And that's where this can really go nuts. And this, be especially for countries, maybe you would even think of more like smaller countries that don't want to just be shut down because they did something disagreeable. Well, one of the big things for the existing infrastructure, there's a need for sovereign infrastructure where corporations run on these foundations and uh, these corporations have huge amounts of control and uh, users can suffer drastically from uh, going the wrong way. For example, here's an article, top YouTuber sparring with the platform after hundreds of his fans lost access to their Google accounts. I have not heard this story or how that worked, but you're trusting when you're using, I use YouTube. I am recording this video for YouTube and for X. And uh, yeah, if anything happens to my Google account, I mean, that's a house of cards right there. And that's why I don't sign up with any apps on internet computer using my Google account because my YouTube account's there, my email accounts that works with everything. If, you look, if something happens with your Google account, whether it gets hacked or whether you piss somebody off at Google and they shut it down, you, you can get racked. And it doesn't seem like it's a big deal until it happens to you. And uh, I've built a few things online that have gotten popular enough and uh, that have, you know, I, I dared to speak the truth and level some criticisms in a public format. And that pissed off some centralized, powerful people who simply annihilated my accounts on different platforms for no valid policy reason, just because they wanted to shut me up and they had the power and they just clicked a few buttons and turned my account off. And it didn't matter that people were outraged and pissed off. They, that's what we need to get away from. And especially countries around the world should not be dependent on pleasing overlords in the USA and other countries that have massive amounts of power and that don't even understand their culture or their way of living and thinking. They, right now, countries cannot depend on the existing infrastructure because you've got 
things that are closed source. You don't know how it operates. These cloud computing services and nations and corporations have kill switches that it doesn't seem like a big deal until you're on the receiving end of it. And then you see, that's why I'm here. I see that we need stuff that can't be kill switched. We need stuff that is not easy to mess with and that's built on a decentralized infrastructure. And what's coming for internet computer, and this will be big for nation states and perhaps states within nations that are at war. For example, what if in the USA there's a, a greater divide and what we've seen is certain politics shutting down entire apps and conversations because they don't like it. Sovereign subnets may be very helpful for states in the USA to make their own set of rules on their own set of applications so that people in Alabama and people in California don't have to operate with the exact same terms and conditions and don't have to be beholden to the exact same centralized controller. And what's beautiful about this is that it's all multi-chain. You can use Bitcoin and uh, soon Ethereum directly natively on internet computer and uh, even create these transactions on other blockchains, which is incredible technology where these canisters can sign and create accounts and sign transactions on other blockchains. Once this Ethereum integration comes out, I mean, ICP may go really big because this will mean eventually that you'll be able to use Ethereum in any application that chooses to include it on internet computer and that you can even do things like trade ERC-20 tokens directly on decentralized exchanges on internet computer. This is already operational with CKBTC. I've already transacted thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in transactions with CKBTC. I took my Bitcoin from my tangent wallet, sent it to the internet computer address, and then began using it, trading it on DEXs where I can trade against the price of Bitcoin with internet computer. This allows you to, the internet computer is already the best Bitcoin layer two out there, and it's about to be the best Ethereum layer two as well, which is why I'm telling you about it. The founder of uh, or Definity was able to buy his coffee using CKBTC when he went out in the My Lugano app. Internet computer is the world computer vision from 2014. And that's what I love about this. And the, you don't even, we don't even have to completely ditch web 2.0 systems immediately. Internet computer can call these things that are on web two and use, for example, the price data that's hosted on a web two infrastructure. It can pull that into it and use it without the need of another Oracle, which is awesome. And this gives you a little bit of a picture of how this works, where the canister initiates a call to a web two machine, web two machine gives it back. It gets the result and then is able to use that data directly for itself. Yes, Web 2, Web 3 will be a continuum where we're not going to instantaneously see everything just dump on the internet computer. But what I see is that the future is going to push more towards Web 3 and internet computer is the only Web 3 option out there. And sure, in some cases, Web 2 makes more sense. It cost me $45 a month to host 16 terabytes of data on Dropbox. Do I really need an internet computer alternative to that? Is there one that's gonna build as cheap? Not necessarily. And what's cool is there's certain places where our centralized infrastructure makes sense and is cheaper and more helpful. And there's a lot of areas though where Web3 on internet computer offers so much more value and is really needed. And we can use both of these at the same time. It's not a one or the other. But I've saved to me the best for last where I really see this shining in the future is with AI. There are already projects running AI models as canister smart contracts. An internet computer will provide an unparalleled environment for collaborating and creating and using AI systems all directly on chain and will allow applications you can't do with AI in other contexts because the AI can be trained on chain. And uh, I see the very best you all been asking what's the best place to invest in AI. I think internet computer and holding internet computer is the best opportunity for AI in all of crypto because 
you can build AI directly on chain. You could sell AI models directly on internet computer. You can prove exactly how they were trained, which is important for things like medical and legal applications. This all, when you put it all together, it enables the um, reimagination of humanity's systems. It allows an entirely new way to look at the internet, which is very exciting to me. Internet computers are already doing the equivalent of a quarter million ETH transactions per second. So you can see that this is already a big deal. The Definity Foundation emerged from the Ethereum and the lead contributor to internet computer. They emerged from early Ethereum community in 2015, founded in 2016. It's a not-for-profit foundation. They have the world's largest team of cryptographers, hundreds of team members globally, including over 140 in the HQ. This is perhaps the most talented team of crypto developers working together anywhere. And they've came from all over the place. They've got exceptional talent at the team. So I appreciate the Definity team for having this pitch deck available so I could easily Exp easily we talked for an hour i don't know if i'd call that easy but where i could in depth explain internet computer to you explain why this is so exciting what makes icp different god after an hour i hope you understand i hope this has helped you in doing your own research if you want me to listen to you and get to know you better come to jerrybanfield.com schedule a call with me i do most of my talking in my videos and in my calls, I do mostly listening. You can talk with me about whatever you want to. I'm available to mentor you in crypto and video creation. I make music or we can do life, talk about life. My life works very effectively. I, I have wealth, health, relationships, love, a purpose in life. I mean, I've got it all. So I'm here to talk to you whenever you'd like. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to go do some yoga now.